Yo guys, how's it going? We are back for another episode of our Creator Club series where today we have ourselves two games. We have one against Barrow and the second against uh, New uh, New Newport County. Uh, currently, while recording this, I, I'm not currently very well. So <laughs> if I do sound a little bit groggy and I keep sneezing or sniffling through this video i do apologize but it's something that i've got to put up with right now but let's go into this first game against barrow and see what the boys can do today hopefully I'll carry on climbing up that table and here we are boys for this first game of today's episode against barrow we are at home today uh at the lions then so we are going to go straight into this game no messing about we've made a couple of changes to the side from the last game of the last episode but you'll have to wait and see for them let's get into it let's see what we can do and here we are boys underway for this first game of today's episode we have actually got opposite kits to the opposite side today which is nice to see doesn't really occur like that very often for our side currently but we have ourselves underway and Barrow are on the attack already looking quite dangerous with the ball it's Gotts on the ball at the minute gives it to White now Williams is the man on the ball Bound trying to block off his man hasn't done great and luckily for us that has been cleared it's came to to Scullion, who hasn't done great, but he's managed to get the ball now off to McLaughlin. If we could try and get an attack off of this, here we go. McLaughlin's still coming forward. We'll play the ball inside. It's to Scullion, who can find Parks. Hopefully he wasn't offside. He wasn't, and that shot has been saved, and then nearly from the rebound going in off of the defender, but unfortunately not. Wasn't the best of strikes there from Parks, uh, our leading goal scorer this season, I think. But unfortunately, that one has been saved. Now, uh, he's tried to give it to Small, but that has been blocked off from that pass. Now, Valakari is the man trying to defend. Uh, Devitt on it. He's tried to get in there as McLaughlin. Couldn't quite do so. Uh, currently, uh, my microphone is right in the way of my vision. But, yeah, we are still coming forward at the minute. <coughs> Uh, well, they're still coming forward at the minute, and that is luckily defended from us, but we nearly gave the ball away there, and luckily for us, we've got it partially clear, but couldn't quite get the ball clear enough because I uh, started to panic, and now it's a chance for Barrow, who plays the ball over the bar. Corner whipped in from Sadler. It's with McLaughlin who has gone up with the header. Not managed to bring it down though. Now Scullion has space, has time, has an effort at goal, but it's over the bar. Or at least try and defend as well as possible. That would be nice as uh, Sadler has tried to get a tackle in that time. Now it's down to Welch to do so. Uh, and there is no uh, real great defensive plays going on there. So, okay, that is not the pass I wanted at all. But Long has managed to luckily clear this up. Hopefully, no, we've given the ball straight back to him. As the ball hasn't been received by Small. And it's an open chance. And luckily for them, it well, luckily for us, sorry, it has gone wide of the post. That is half time. We've gone in at nil nil. Not too many chances for either side so far. The, it, the ball has pretty much been stuck in the middle of the park at the minute. No ch uh, side really having a lot of chances or any chances really. So uh, hopefully in this one we can get ourselves moving again and hopefully get ourselves another three points starting in this second half. Who has been one of our best players this season so far. Good play there from McLaughlin to actually retain the ball from that pass though parks is the man on it he can spread it out to uh, okay he can't but he can at the second time of asking it's with small plays it into parks takes the shot and it's saved by the keeper and that is probably one of our probably our best attack of the game so far to be fair uh, we'll float the ball in this time towards the back post. It's a good cross and Irvin's gone up for it and it was pretty much a clear header for him. But unfortunately he has headed it still over the bar. Not the best of headers from that lad there. As you see he battered off the defender, done the hard bit but the header went over. It's up to Scullion who has to react quickly here and he's played it off to Parks. We'll give it to Small now who's got uh, McLaughlin on the outside of him. Give it back in to Small. Uh, if Parks wants to get some space he hasn't really done so but he's got the ball still. Plays it out to Welch who can take a shot and it was not a good one at all. Now uh, McLaughlin has to try and defend. It's intercepted by Valakari. Give it to Small. If Scullion can play a nice ball over the top and he has done so it's into Parks who should be 
be putting that in the back of the net as he does. It's 1-0 to the boys. It is that man again, <coughs> Parks, who puts us in the lead. We are currently 1-0 up. I'm not sure uh, what the actual uh, time is on the clock at the minute, but it's a very good pass there from Scullion. And Parks does his job and puts the ball into that top corner to make sure we go 1-0 up here. Very nicely done from him. Been a very good finisher for us since joining for us at the start of the season. And I am very happy with the way this one's going now. Let's get it. 65 minutes in, 1-0 up. Right then, Jordan plays the ball out too long. We can try and keep the ball a little bit now, hopefully. With McLaughlin giving it to Valakari. Nicely played off to Sadler. Finds the man inbound who can try and run with the ball a little bit here. We'll play it into Parks. Now off to Valakari. Scullion is the man making the run. It's a very good piece of play and the ball hits the bar from the Scullion shot. That is the kind of look we are getting at the minute. That is so unlucky. He deserved that goal. That was beautiful play. Uh, plays the ball off to Sadler. Uh, if we can play the ball now down the wing to Welch. And we can do so. Whip the ball into the centre. It's a good cross. And Scullion has marked his man beautifully. And still not managed to put the ball in the back of the net. But the ball has came in. It's a good piece of defending from uh, Long, I think that was. Now it's Scullion, who's going to try and find the ball over the top. If he can, to Parks. And Parks has robbed his man. Here we go. We have a chance to get ourselves 2-0 up at the end of the game. We'll whip them. And it is cleared. If he can win this header, though, Parks. And he has done so. It's with Welch. Uh, we can just try and keep the ball at the minute because we are 1-0 up. We'll switch the play now. It's out to McLaughlin. We'll whip a ball in. It's a beautiful cross and it's such an easy head off for Sadler to put us 2-0 up and guarantee us the three points today um, that was thoroughly thoroughly deserved there he needed that goal and at the end of the day with such an inviting cross that time from McLaughlin it was harder to miss that header than it was to score it as the ball gets played over the top the empty space for McLaughlin to whip the ball in and what an inviting cross that was Sadler manages to get his head to it in the right position at the right time and like I say it was harder to miss that chance than to score it and he has managed to bag it it's 2-0 that is full time. We have managed to get another three points today against Barrow. Two goals in the second half. One from Sadler um, and another from Parks where he has bagged himself his ninth goal now of the season. Looking very good up front and right now looking strong in these games at the minute. It looked quite... Um, Quite a bit of a stalemate in that first half, but in the second, we actually started to move on a little bit and managed to get ourselves the goals that I think we deserved out of that second half. And a 2-0 win, I can't complain at that. Let's go, boys. And here now for the post-match interview, we have ourselves um, a couple of questions to answer. Were you always confident about winning the game today? Uh... Every single lad, uh, one of the lads, was committed to their job. I'll accept that because we looked very good defensively and only let them have three or four shots in today's game, which is very good for us. Um, we have a self. Uh, was that a game you always felt in control of? Uh, I'd say maybe the scoreline did flatter us a little bit, to be fair, because even though we had a lot more shots, I don't think that them shots were particularly great and great attacking opportunities. So I'm not going to accept that too much. But you won, but Barrow uh, made it tough in the midfield, didn't they? Uh, yes, they did, to be fair. Like I say, the ball seemed to be trapped in the midfield for most of that uh, first half and the second half, to be fair, until uh, we actually managed to take the lead. But yeah, we we never let up and we carried on pressing we knew what we had to do and we managed to get it let's go right then boys so i have just came on to our um youth squad just to have a little bit of a look obviously the lads here ain't got the best of um potentials but a couple of the lads including tudor uh, including tudor and this man here uh jokalainen i think his name is or jokalainen one of them uh these two have decent uh starting overalls so what i might actually do i can't sign this lad yet because he is 15 but the other lads that are here 
I might actually just sign, even though they ain't going to grow too much, I think I might sign them and just see where they can end up, because we need the players in the squad at the minute, we haven't got too many, so as many as we can actually have in the squad, to turn over a different, uh, to try and get ourselves them benefits, it always helps, so let's try and sign these players now, let's promote these players that we want, uh, that I can promote at the moment because they're all maxed out on their thingies anyway uh, and the only man that will be left is Joker Lionel when he turns 16 so yeah all of them now uh, lads now are on, now in the squad so yeah let's see what we can do from now on and now following that we have ourselves uh, a couple of lads here that we've just got from our scouting report Obviously, two lads again that ain't looking particularly great, but we'll sign on both anyway and hopefully they improve. Right then, so we have ourselves a player chat this time from Dennis Weber, uh, who is one of the youth players that we've just signed up, saying, I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance in the senior squad, boss. I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to this team. Obviously, you're only a f uh, 40 overall at the minute, but we need as many players as we can get. So hopefully, you can show us that potential that we hopefully can surpass. <laughs> Right then, so we have ourselves a little press conference before the second game of today's episode. We have ourselves, can this team be better uh, than bottom half? We can improve. And to be fair, in the pa past couple of games, we've actually looked like we have improved. So that's a good uh, start. Will your last win have the opposition worried? Uh Confidence counts, let's say that. Uh, at the end of the day, if you go into a game confident, then you've got more likely of being uh, the winners of that game. But why has the team been struggling? Uh, I have to take the blame. Let's take the blame away from the side and not have the focus on them. Right then, for our second and final game of today's episode, we have this one against Newport Counter. It's going to be a difficult game, I think, but uh, we have put a couple of our young lads that we got out of the Youth Academy onto the bench for today's game. So let's see how they do today. Let's get straight into this game and see how we can do. And here we are. Underway, uh, well not underway just yet, but we have Romeo Parks in the side who is the League 2 top scorer, bearing in mind we're second from bottom at the moment, I'm pretty sure, we still are, and we still have the top goal scorer in the league, so that's always a plus, but let's get into this game, we are away from home, let's hope we can push on and get ourselves another 3 points today. It's with Dimitriou, who gives it in now again to Greenhouse. It's with Hayes out to Azaz, and it's good defensive play so far from the boys. Good tackle that time from McLaughlin. It still managed to find its way into the box, and I'm not sure who blocked that. I think it might have been bound, but it's come off of one of our defenders' heads there, I think, after the header. Luckily, it is bound who has managed to get his face in the way of that one. Right then, ball to be whipped into the area. McLaughlin is the man there, and it's a beautiful cross. And Duke has missed that opportunity. That was such a big chance for us to take and lead there. And he's managed to put the header wide of the post. That was a beautiful cross and such a good heading opportunity. That is half time. We've gone in again at nil-nil. Not too many attacking opportunities, especially for us today. And we've had one very big opportunity from Parks. Uh, not from Parks, sorry. From... Um, from Duke, who should have put his header at least on target, and he managed to miss it completely, which was poor from him. But hopefully a bit of a push on in the second half will work for us again. But the ball has only been played back, and it's straight now to Sadler. Finds the ball to Duke. Will lay it off. That is not the man I meant to lay it off to. Oh, God damn it. That's ruined that attack, I think. But Valakari finds the ball to Welch, who has not controlled it perfectly. But it's a beautiful cross, and Parks has climbed and got there. But unfortunately, it's another very good save from uh, the keeper. Gives it off to Bound, who plays it too small. Uh, don't know where anybody else is at the minute, but Valakari can give it to Sadlock and find the ball out again to Welch, who can whip a ball in again, and it's a beautiful cross again, and again, it's an unreal save from the keeper, as Duke has put another very good header at goal, and again, it's been saved. Don't know how the keeper's pulling this off, because we've had two very good efforts at goal now, and not managed to bag either of them. 
will try and play it beyond a man this time as Sadler can whip the ball in again as long as Klein for it again not managed to do anything with it Small plays the ball back Sadler whips the ball in Duke has gone for it and not managed to get there at all but Irvin gives it to Small finds the ball into Duke uh, that was some space there for McLaughlin it's into Parks now who takes the shot just wide of the post took it as a first time effort because I didn't think I'd have enough time to take a touch and that shot has gone wider the post right it's with Newport uh, Welch has tried to go out and collect that he hasn't managed to do so that was poor from Valakari in the center who should have been reacting quicker here McLaughlin is right stuffing in against the defenders this time and that is not great for us but it's there for them to try and get a chance and I am not switching to the right player and that is saved this time from Jordan who has bailed us out uh, we'll play that ball to Bound, who can find Welch. We'll play it now inside to Sadler. Nicely controlled from Sadler. Falakari gives the ball to Duke, who has some space for McLaughlin on this right-hand side. Takes the shot, and that is blades well wide of the post. An absolutely massive opportunity of very few numbers that we've had in this game. And he's managed to plays that one wide of the post. He should be doing better there. Uh, if we can try and work something here with Sadalot giving the ball to Valakari. Now to Small. Plays it back to Valakari. We've got some space for Duke. And that's nice quick passing play that time. As Parks finds the ball to Welch. Tries to knock it beyond his man. It's a great cross again. And Duke has managed to get there. And it's still gone wide of the post just so many headed opportunities in this game and we've not managed to find the back of the net with one of them that is full time we've came away with a nil nil draw against Newport here we've had a few chances in this game well in the second half at least where we probably could have taken the lead and probably should have taken the lead and didn't end up doing so and at the end of the day, so did Newport. They had their chances when they started actually really pining on the pressure today. And they didn't manage to do anything for us. But unfortunately for us, we have still ended up coming away with this one uh, with a point. That That's the main thing at the end of the day. But it could have very easily been three. And it very could have easily been zero at the end, <laughs> at the, end of the game today, to be fair. Right then, boys. So post-match interview now. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, have you t happy to have taken a draw? Um, we fought hard today. We, like I say, we could have either lost that or won that game. To be fair, either way that could have went. <laughs> But we came away with a point. So that's better than nothing at the end of the day. There wasn't much between the teams today. What did you make of the result? Uh, yeah, I thought we seemed very two committed see, uh, teams out there, to be honest. Uh, we could have very easily won or lost both game, uh, the game today, to be fair. Did you play for a 0-0 today? Uh, no, we did. Um work hard uh hard work is on its own reward we were never at our best today we really were we were really determined out there we were and unfortunately it just didn't pay off right so we have ourselves a player chat saying hey boss i know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in we've had this message so many times you'll do for me so then, guys, that is the end of today's episode. We have ourselves in the next episode, three games, uh, one, uh, two in the league, one in the cup against Sheffield Wednesday, which is going to be a very difficult game for us. But in today's game, we, uh, today's two games, shall I say, we've picked up four points out of six. You can't complain at that. So, yeah, uh, hopefully we can carry that form on in the next episode. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next episode, boys. Peace. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear, just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen, they got is a quick change, so we like them in face, I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring, the zero gravity, keeps elevating me.